Hello, everyone. Now we're going to generate a corset pattern from the computer. When you buy and install the corset pattern, you can then open your Pattern Maker 7.5 pattern uh, software, and then the macro folder, you will find the uh, Genani Patterns folder. You double click on that and you'll see all the macros you already have. Here is a corset pattern. And then click on the macro and open it. Here you have several length options. You have the waist length, you have the above hip length, you have the hip length and the dress length. I'll select the dress length. Now you can choose the style for the cup. You can choose the vertical style line. The line goes right across the bust vertically. Then the horizontal style line goes over the bust in the horizontal line. And the three in one cup has three parts, the upper part and the two lower cups. So you can select the style you want. And I'll use um, a vertical style line. Here now you can choose the measurement file. You can save measurement files in Pattern Maker. So you can choose a file or you can skip and then enter your measurements. Now these are default measurements. So you can change them to reflect your own measurements. Change whatever is different from the default. So you get a perfect fit for yourself. So you can edit it. But, and um, when you take measurements, ensure that you are using a system so that you can uh, have a perfect fit. If it's not different from the default, you don't have to change it. So then you click OK and um, you need to use the half inch seam allowance. I don't add more than that on the PC. If I want extra at the side seams, I add that by hand. Okay. So now the dress length, I want a long dress. So I use um, 45 inches from the waist down. Yes, so this is my pattern. So right here now I can add flares, taper it, and do whatever I want to do. And uh, I'm ready to sew. I also want you to observe the seam allowance at the center front. I take this off because the computer adds the seam allowance all around the pattern. So if you're placing a pattern on fold of fabric, you should remove the half inch seam allowance at the center front. I'm removing it with the PC, but you can move it by, by hand. So you can see there's no seam allowance there because I'm going to place it on fold. And also, you may want to have extra seam allowance at the side. I don't add more than one inch at the side. The reason is because if you add just one inch at the side in a curved seam, you don't have to notch it. Now, if you add seam allowance to a seam and you then notch it, you render that seam useless for adjustments. You can't adjust or, or let out that seam because you've already cut it to the stitch. So one inch is enough to adjust. You can adjust it um, to include another two inches or even three inches if you are careful with your seams. So I use just one inch in uh, regular uh, seams. You can use up to two inches if you have a bias uh, cut. Now we can print. So to print, we'll go to File menu and select the Print Setup and set up our printer. 
Um, select your printer if you have a printer connected and set the size of your paper to A4 or if you have a larger printer, select the printer here. And then uh, if you want to take your um, pattern out to print, you can generate a PDF file. Um, choose a um, PDF printer. Microsoft PDF printer is also is good. You can select that. And then you save. This is okay. Then you go to the file menu again and choose print select. If you don't know how to move your patterns apart, don't worry. You can print it like this. It's not going to be a problem. Um, just select the pattern you want. I'll select this. I'll right click. I have this here so I can print if I want to, but I'll cancel because I'm just doing a demonstration. And I'll print this. I have one sheet of paper. That's full print. I can print the second one also. Cancel. I can select this and print. Now I'll change the orientation of the paper to landscape. I will save me paper. Instead of 10 sheets, I'll have just seven. Now I can print. Then uh, here, I would also use the same landscape. So seven sheets of paper. So when you print out, all you have to do is use masking tape to, as a, to put this together so you get your full pattern. So here now I can print and I'll change my orientation now to portraits. And then instead of seven sheets, I'll have five sheets. So to bring out the pattern for me. Uh, thank you everybody. I hope you enjoy using uh, this corset pattern macro. And I'm sure you're going to do beautiful things with it.